So early in the year, we covered a story about a New York police officer by the name of Michael Reynolds. Now he broke into a black family's home about two o'clock in the morning being drunk. And at the time period, when they say, what the hell, who's this guy breaking in our house? He was saying to them, this is my MF in house. This is my MF in house. Um, and he said, you try to shoot me, I'll break every bone in your effing neck. You effing N word. That's what he said at the time. They called the police. The police came there to interview the guy at the time period, but they didn't really arrest him at first. Then a few days later, they did arrest him. Now he was suspended from his job. He was decommissioned as well, but he's still employed by the NYPD. Well, he, the sentence came back, you know, after he went through a trial and you know what he received for breaking in someone's house, breaking and entering and, you know, talking about people being in words, he only received two weeks in jail and he has 30 days to report to jail. Then we have individuals on YouTube that said the other day, well, we have the police and we have the criminal justice system as black people to protect us. Well, we had a black family terrorized by a white police threatened and all they received was two weeks in jail. Now you tell me if you as a black person go break in somebody white house and threaten them and call them slurs. Do you think you would get two weeks in jail? And do you think you would get 30 days to report to jail? So you can just chill for 30 days and then do your two weeks. Now the family is very, very upset. They said at his sentencing at, at the part where he was supposed to be remorseful, he was laughing about things. He was laughing because guess what? He knows that the criminal justice system protects people like him, protects white men. He knows this, but then you have individuals that would lie and put out disinformation to black Americans and tell them we have the criminal justice system and the police to protect us. Well, it doesn't seem like the criminal justice system worked out too well for black Americans that day, did it? It didn't. When you have the criminal laughing at black folk and only getting 14 days in jail and he's still employed by the New York police department. He wasn't fired. So he can get out after two weeks in jail, go back to New York. And after his little time that he has there, he can go back to terrorizing on the streets of New York, terrorizing black people. But we have the criminal justice system that protects black Americans. And we have the police according to certain individuals. This is what I'm talking about. That's the last thing certain people, you know, when I get stories, I'm a ride that I'm a ride that for a while. You gonna, I'm still tripping out about that. You gonna say that black folks got the criminal justice system and the police to protect us. They didn't protect us that time at all. And they ain't been protecting us for over 400 years. You know, but I guess, I guess when you're trying to run, run a hustle, you, you do, you know, doing what you do, you know, you gotta keep black people in the, you know, a disinformation state, but leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story, you know, which is not any kind of justice for a black family at all It's very, very upsetting, but this is what happens in the system of racism and white supremacy. We have no protection. So that's why I say, don't listen to nobody tell you that we're protected in the system.